From the beginning, Overwatch 2 was advertised as the new era of Overwatch. That it will redefine the sequel and fix the problems that are ingrained in the fabric of Overwatch 1. However, Overwatch 2 will not accomplish any of the above and will be the biggest mistake that Blizzard will make, cementing them as a dead game company. Overwatch 1 right now has many problems. For example, queue time inequalities, which is caused by the lack of a player base who wants to play the tank role. This has caused tank queue times to be dramatically lower than DPS or healer queues. This can be allotted to many different factors, but just to state a few, tanks receive most of the CC abilities, making tanks less playable. Tanks require lots of input in order to function to the best of their abilities, aka healers need to hyper-focus on them for tanks to be effective. Tanks also need their other tank to communicate with them, which in competitive is often a luxury since no one joins voice chats. And tanks need their DPS to suppress the other tanks for them to get the advantage. With all of these problems currently affecting Overwatch 1, the sequel looks to resolve a lot of these conflicts. However, it has turned into a much bigger issue for Blizzard to deal with. The tank role in Overwatch 2 consists of one overbuffed tank instead of two average tanks like in the first game. Many of the problematic tank heroes in Overwatch 1, like Arisa and well, Arisa, have been remade entirely to fit the one tank role. All of the other tanks have had either their numbers tweaked or small changes made to their kit. For example, Reinhardt has more health, his charge can be cancelled and can turn on a dime now. His fire strike now has two charges, but with the reduced damage. Zarya has more health, can now bubble two of her teammates now, instead of one for, for herself and one for her teammates, or just use them both on herself, which often is the thing that happens. Roadhog has more health, he heals more with his vape, and can control his ultimate now by turning it off and on again. Anyways, you get the idea, more health, more movement, more strong, and oh yeah, Doomfist's a tank too. I have played in both of the betas so far, and while it may not have a perfect reflection of what we'll see in October when it releases, the queues are even worse. As a tank main, I can say I benefited heavily from the two second tank queues that you get in Overwatch 1, while waiting 15 to 25 minutes for a DPS game and 10 plus minutes for a healer game was pretty much custom for everyone else. While I was getting CC'd into Oblivion, everyone else was still in a queue, which was honestly fine by me. However, not fun gameplay, that's for sure. Tanks in Overwatch 2 have been provided with nearly all the CC in the game leaving DPS characters with none, and leaving Ana as the only healer with any hard CC. This makes the tank feel really powerful, and with the extra health, more movement, and honestly more healing getting pumped into them because of the lesser amount being pumped into your partner, tanks are now way too powerful in my opinion. The fact that I can jump into a pack of pe people with Doomfist, now with 450 health, punch someone into the wall, stunning them, absorbing damage, then punching more people, stunning them for even longer with the powered up punch, and then jump out with no consequences is awful that it's in the game. Now this is obviously not always the case, but I often find myself getting out of a lot more situations where I should have died and out damaging both of our DPS 90% of the time. Overpowering the tanks like this has caused queue times to be even worse in Overwatch 2. Often sitting in a tank queue can take over 20 minutes and DPS still being 10, healer is really the only role that is normal because nobody wants to play healer. While they have added open queue to the beta, everyone just insta-locks tank or DPS and never swaps, but that's just classic open queue. And if you tell me that the queue times are because of the new character, the new changes to the heroes, and that it'll fix itself when the hype wears off, I think you're wrong. I believe this because of the pure strength and adrenaline you feel when you run in as Reinhardt, with no care in the world, no CCs to stop you, swinging your hammer until you get some kills and win the fight. It's easy and fun to play. Playing against it is not fun, especially if you have a worse tank, because there's nothing you can really do as a healer or a DPS anymore. The role has switched, and now it's favoring tank. I feel that 5v5 is an irreversible 
terrible mistake made by Blizzard, caused by their inability to make tanks fun in Overwatch 1, which resulted in the awful imbalance of queue times. Now, Arisa's rework had the light that made me think that Overwatch 2 was gonna fix this problem. However, they left tanks like Sigma or Hammond without reworks. This makes no sense to me, as they made Arisa a fun and playable character, resolving the boring shield play, giving me a perfect example that they have the knowledge to fix tanks. However, they left Sigma with little to no changes and Hammond with the same. Now, in my opinion, they should have reworked a lot more of the tanks and left 6v6 alone. However, they wanted the game to feel more open and like a new game. However, this has caused a horrible issue that may very well make Overwatch 2 a failure for Blizzard. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this type of content, please leave a like or subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And let me know in the comments if you want me to do some more of this kind of stuff, because this is kind of the first video I've ever done like this. So anyways, I'll leave you alone. Go watch some more YouTube, and I'll see you later.